Hey this is Zee Reviews and as you might know Little Big Planet for the PSV has finally arrived and I'm just going to be taking a quick look at it in this video and show you some of the cool things about it. So let's get straight into it. Alright so of course we have the good old pod from Little Big Planet all the other Little Big Planets but this time it's actually got a PSV in the middle obviously as the actual controller and you might have noticed that it's actually a lot wider so you have a lot more space which I quite like. Nice to um, be back in the pod once again with the PSV so I'm just going to jump into some uh, uh, story mode gameplay and I'll just show you a little bit of that right, so just like all other Little Big Planet games the levels are very well constructed and stuff and one big thing uh, about PSV's Little Big Planet is you can use touch so as you can see right here you can have these blue box that you can just touch in and it will let you pass through there's another one right here just touch that and go back in so that's really cool and it feels really intuitive to like use, uh, in, especially in story levels, it feels really good to actually control the level just using your fingertips, so it's pretty good uh, for that. I'd like to see what uh, the community will come up with on the online levels, that will be cool to see. So we have all the, the typical objects from the Little Big Planet 2 I think with the jump pads and stuff like that, so yeah, you will see all the original objects from the older games from PS3 as well so even the sackboy and everything feels just like normal doesn't feel any different I think the makers of this game did a really good job uh, making it onto the PS3 because it isn't made by Media Molecule so done a great job with that so not only that we have used for the front touchscreen we also can use the back touchpad so as you can see I'll touch the back and you'll see this green pointer come up I'm sure it'll change uh, whatever color you choose but you can actually push up these blocks by sliding your finger on the back and pushing up like that and uh, I think they have done a great job actually optimizing the PSV's controls on this game uh, to make it feel really natural when actually playing the game uh, it makes the gameplay a lot more interesting when using the touch screen and the back touchpad so the story levels in this game are fantastic and they're very well made uh, just like the other LVP games and we have quite a lot of um, packs of levels here as you can see and each part has quite a few levels as you can see and um, it should keep you going for a while and uh, it's not only just story levels we do have some mini games um, like side games right here like this one and also a couple others and we will also obviously have our boss levels the main levels uh, after the end of the chapter if you want to say Right, so this is the, one of the mini games and you just have to tap the sack, bots, uh, sack boys that actually come out of the holes so you just got to quickly tap them to get some points so this is one of the cool mini games uh, in this game so now I'm just going to take a look at the community section of the Little Big Planet PS Vita so this just shows some of the levels that you've created for the PS Vita and some of these levels obviously will be amazing especially uh, after a while of the games being released so I'll just check this level out and show you how it is. Right, so this is a Super Mario level someone's created. Uh, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm waiting to see what people make for this because a lot of the levels in Little Big Planet 2 were actually really good. Some of them are very professional, and I can't wait to see what you people make. So I'll be also I'll also be making some levels. Uh, probably won't be all that good, but uh, I will be making them. I think one of the main bits about Little Big Planet is actually uh, the community levels because this is what keeps the game going really if you finish the story mode you have all the online levels that people create uh, to play so I'm really glad that they've added this uh, to the PS Vita version as well and finally we have the level creator the classical level, level creator on the little big planet and this is just like normal obviously we have your moon and you can just tap a level and start creating Right, so here we are in the create mode. I'm just gonna show you just like uh, how you use the touch screen to actually paste on materials and stuff. I'm gonna go in uh, too, too in depth, but I will be making a video actually showing you in depth what the create mode is actually like on Little Big Planet PS Vita. So check back for that. So this is a really cool thing about having a touch screen with Little Big Planet is that you can you can actually paint on your materials however you like. So this will be much easier if you want to draw complicated shapes with your uh, materials so this is a really cool feature and you can also zoom in using the back touchpad as you can see I just zoomed in like that so that's really cool 
as well as painting on your materials with the touchscreen you can also go through the menu with your touchscreen I don't know if you noticed if I was using that or not but you can use the touchscreen to actually navigate through your whatever you're doing on your pop-it menu and all that stuff so that's really intuitive uh, intuitive gameplay like with the create mode you can use the back touch to look around zoom in everything use the touchscreen uh, on the pop-it menu so it should be really simple and easy to make your levels uh, on the PSV01 uh, well easier than it was before on the PS3 so this looks like it will be great uh, once we get all the materials and stuff like that you need alright so that's pretty much it showing you a little bit planned for the PSV uh, I'm so glad this actually was released for the PSV because I was kinda getting bored so this is actually exactly what people needed if they're getting bored of the PSV so if you want to ask me is it worth buying yes it's definitely worth buying this is a game uh, that is definitely worth playing, worth paying for. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I will be having more videos of Little Big Planet, so check back for that. And I'll see you in the next video.